I'm grumpy today. <laughs> I don't know why though. So let's make a coffee. Best coffee in the world. The best creamer in the world. Nut Pods hazelnut. <sighs> so good. As you know what, normally I'd be like, I'm gonna clean my place and do my laundry and take care of all my chores. All of that's done. So I have nothing to do in that sense, right? And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna film an outfit, like a style video today. I'm not gonna do that because my face in the whole video is gonna be like this. There's also a ton of smoke in the air today from the wildfires in California. So look at this like golden light that's been shining in my apartment all day long. It's not even golden hour. How are you with your 13,000 followers on TikTok? Do you know that you have that many? You're just chilling. You're cool about it. I woke up in a good mood. Then I took my dog for a walk and I felt irritated. I don't know why. I went to the gym, I felt better, and then I felt irritated again. And I even checked my calendar. I was like, there's no way I'm st That was ice. I was like, there's no way I'm on my period again. Because I was on my period twice in two weeks, which was really exciting. So who knows? Ugh. Maybe I should take a nap. Should I take a nap? I already took a nap today. I took a nap after the gym. I was so exhausted. I want to feel better today, okay? I'm grumpy. Will you come in here? Come here to make me feel better. Come here. Come here. You'll come to me this way. God, you just slapped me in my mouth and now you have my lip gloss all over your face. Look at your mouth. This, I hate being grumpy and I hate showing the side of me online. I just don't like it because it's not, I don't feel like it's putting out good energy into the world and I just don't like it. But this is really how I'm feeling today, okay? Uh. It's one of those things where I know I'll be fine by the end of the day, but since I don't know what my reasoning is as to why I'm grumpy, I feel like I don't know how to fix it. Oh my God, butt cheeks. Anyway, so cool. You guys, look how long my hair is getting though. Finally, it's growing again. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my gosh, that short haircut that I had to do because my ends were nasty was a disgrace and just really just not my favorite. These are my favorite nails. Oh, should we do our, ow! So much just happened in five seconds. I don't know what my problem is, so. <laughs> you know what, I think the moral of the story is that it's okay to have days like this sometimes. But I get hard on myself about it because I'm like, pull it together, bitch. I would tell anybody else, like, it's all good. But for me personally, I'm like, pull your shit together. What are you whining about? I have a beautiful apartment. I have furniture in my apartment. I have AC on, I have hot water. I have, you know, food in my fridge. This is my job. I'm bitching to a camera right now. Like, what, <laughs> what do I have to complain about? Nothing, nothing, except for my bad mood. <laughs> This is me trying to get my drama out of my system. One, two. <laughs> Honestly, you know what I want to do? Take off this sweatshirt. I'm over it. I'm taking it off. I'm getting in bed. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting into bed and I don't care who sees it. This is, I'm going to be real with you. This is hard for me to film because I don't like to show this side of me on the internet. I keep this to my family and friends. They can deal with me, but I don't want to put that out to the world because like I said it's just like it's not good vibes I'm gonna put out goodness into the world not my grumpy ass into the world but today it's what it is we're gonna get very real here for a second well I've been real the whole video unfortunately I wish I wasn't being so honest about how I'm feeling today to be honest but I think because I am finally in such a good place mentally that when I do have a day where just I'm feeling grumpy or I'm just not in the mood or something like that I get extra hard on myself about it because I've made so much progress in my life and it, this isn't a setback, this is just like a day that anybody would have. You know, anybody has a day where they're just like, I'm not feeling it today, I'm just not in a good mood. And that's okay, you know? Um, but I think as someone that had felt these days almost every day for years and years of my life, I sometimes get really hard on myself when I do have a random day where I'm just like, oh, I'm not feeling it today. I don't like that. And I'm gonna be real with you too, it's sometimes it's hard for me to push through moods like this. And I'm really trying, I'm doing all that I can. You know, everything that I would normally do to make myself feel better, I've already done. You know, and I'm just still feeling blah. That's the thing too, it's like, I'm not feeling angry at anyone. My feelings aren't hurt, it's nothing like that. I just, just feel, 
ramen today. I just remembered I have ramen in the cupboard. Oh, you see that? I put in an order for Whole Foods. Let's see if this makes you feel better. Okay, let's see what we have here. I ordered some kombuchas. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Oh yes, vegan queso. Look at my hair. I know, I look like a pilgrim. Beyond Meat patties. Beyond Meat breakfast sausage. I've never had that before. Taquitos. Vegan beef brown things to make tacos. Taco seasoning. Oh, you can't even see. Taco seasoning. Taco shells. Organic blue corn taco shells. Ooh, I got some flax seed because I know it's good for you. Healthy bucha pop. And then black beans. I love black beans. I eat a lot of them. It's a good little haul I've got here. I'm excited. I'm back from the gym. I'm like, ah. Also, I got back and it's 11 11. You see that? 11 11. And yes, I was listening to the Dolan Twins podcast. <laughs> now I'm going to make some breakfast. I'm going to make some Beyond breakfast sausages with like avocado and tomato on the side. I've never made this before, but let's do it. Some time has passed. I've gotten ready. I mean, I'm in sweatpants, but that's okay. Um, this is my update. I need to redo these nails because my hair keeps getting caught in the corner of one of them and it's bugging me. <laughs> I feel like when you have like an emotional day, the next day you kind of have an emotional hangover. And I feel like that's where I'm at. I feel really good today. I feel so much better than yesterday, but I'm still not 100% yet. I look pretty today. I'll take that. Right now I have this like baby pink because that's my go-to because I'm like afraid of color even though D&D sent me beautiful colors. It's crooked but wouldn't that be kind of cute, right? Wait, blue is kind of my color though. Something borrowed, something blue. Oh my gosh, am I about... <gasps> oh, look at this. Whatever, a sign from the universe happened. This blue that I'm gonna do for my nails. Um, I turned on an Emma Chamberlain video and her nails are literally almost the exact blue. You know, it's kind of weird to put my feet on camera. If you guys wanna send me money for feet pics, I mean, I'll take it. Boom. Finished my nails. How cute are these? I actually really love them. Having color on my nails is really hard for me. But how freaking pretty, how cute are these though? I'm obsessed. Hi guys, it's the next day. Am I, did I wear this shirt yesterday? It's just kind of like my throw on shirt at home. Sorry about my AC, but it was so hot. I just finished filming a video. Vid I just finished filming a video, so I have to have my AC on because I had it off and it was so hot in here. So don't mind that, but I just wanted to tell you guys, I still have my blue nails on, how cute. This color that I chose, by the way, is called Blue Bell from D&D. &D. You guys know I love D&D, &D, so that's how these turned out, and I actually really, really love them. I'm so happy with them. I did want to talk, I should turn my AC off. It's really loud, okay, hold on. Let me turn this off for a second. Ah, oh, so much better. I did want to pop in here and talk to you guys for a second. Um, when I started this vlog, I was like in a really bad mood. When was it? That was two days ago. I was in a really bad mood and just like not having it. I just wasn't having a good day. And yesterday, like I said, I feel like I was having like an emotional hangover. And today I feel great. I feel really good. And I think the thing that I'm proud of myself for is that I tried all that I could to push through it and I still was feeling off. And so then I just kind of let myself feel it out. That's why I didn't finish vlogging the first day. And yesterday I didn't really vlog much either. I just kind of did little things and I was like, I'm still not fully ready. And then today I am able to vlog. I was able to film another video for my channel and I'm able to like sit here and like get at it and get back to work. And I think when it comes to your mental health or just like having an off day, anything of the sort, it's so important to listen to yourself and how you're feeling. For instance, this morning, I was feeling really good and I really wanted to go to the gym and move my body like I said that I'm doing every single day. But for some reason, I just wasn't in the mood to just like go be in the building. I just didn't want to be in the gym. I wanted to move my body, but I didn't want to be in the gym itself. And because it felt so nice out today, 
I was like, you know what? Even though I've walked Ellie twice this morning, we're gonna go on an extra long one right now and I'm gonna bring a coffee with me. I'm gonna move my body for 30 to 40 minutes and I'm just gonna walk around with my dog. It's good for her, it's good for me. And I felt so good afterwards, just listening to what I actually wanted to do. That's where I'm at right now. So feeling really good, I'm really, really happy. And yes, but now I'm actually going to edit um, my video. Also, look where I'm sitting. I'm sitting on top of, my apartment has like this little thing right here. Ellie's food's right, like the laundry's right there. Ellie's food dishes are right there and there's like this little desky kind of an area. This is like the worst filming job ever. So I'm sitting on top of it because I don't have a chair. But when my parents come to town in a couple weeks or like a week, a week and a half, I don't know, so soon, I think we're gonna turn this spot over there in my living room into an office, I think. We'll see if it actually works out, but if it does, that'll be nice because in the two and a half, almost three years of living here, no, it's almost three years I've lived here. Wow, um, I have never had an office space in here, which is something that I literally need for my job, so I'm excited for that, so we'll see how that works out, but anyways, yeah, I just wanna check in, say hi and I love you, and yeah. We're almost at 220,000 subscribers. Oh my God. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna work on this stuff and I'll catch up with you in a few. Hey guys, so I just wanted to pop in here because I realized I didn't have an outro, um, but I just wanted to say hello. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And it's okay to have a bad day. It's, this was really hard for me to film and it was hard for me to edit it because like I said in the video, I have a hard time when I'm not feeling my best because I'm just like, girl, pull it together. But I had to also, you know, keep it real. Be honest with you guys. Like, this was a real day in my life. You know, not every single day is looking like sunshine like I wish it did. Um, but yeah, this was just real life. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you so, so much. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you very soon. Bye, guys. Also, oh my god, look. Who still has blue nails on? Me. This was filmed, like, over a week ago, week and a half ago. What is this? I'm just saying.